Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's build, we have another Foe Tracer setup that I'm sure those who love Fallen Sunstar or Crown of Tempers will really like. This combo here will allow users to get back fast ability energy one after another via the amount of Iron Tracers created, and combining this with the Trinity Ghoul will escalate the situation to godly heights. I don't believe this has been seen by other Arc Hunter exotics to this degree, but ultimately, if you want that surge bonus from Foe Tracer to occur more often, then this build right here will show you how. To start, you're going to want to have Flow State where defeating a Jolt target makes you Amplified. A being Amplified grants you increased dodge regen, more resilience while dodging, and reload speed greatly increased. Then you want Tempest Strike where sliding and activating your charge melee ability unleashes a devastating uppercut attack. Ability usage for both Discipline Strength will be high in this build, just so we can activate Foe Tracer more often. The following will help with the melee side of things once you equip Gambler's Dodge, while the rest can then focus on Discipline, etc. Fragments used are Spark of Discharge where Arc Thunder Blows have a chance to create on the traces, Spark of Resistance where while being surrounded, you are more resistant to incoming damage, Spark of Shock where your Arc grenade jolt targets, and Spark of Ions where defeating jolt targets create on your traces. The three must have will be the spark of discharge, shock and ions are best. From here, we will get two ways of creating ion traces, but triggering Foe Tracer's secondary effect will grant us the third option, to which we can get back a 12.5% each to a total of around 37.5% overall ability energy back. This here, with a relatively good ability cooldown, will allow us to use our times 4 surge effect more often and proactively, as long as our abilities and key mods are doing their part. For the mods and stats section, having a high discipline and strength will be the smart move to do on your end, as this will be key to making the build as strong as possible. I also recommend a high mobility as well, just so Gambler's Dodge can be useful just in case. Discipline will be at tier 7, but actually will be tier 10, because the font of focus mod grant us a plus 30 towards our stat. I would recommend you do the same, as this is easy to achieve for a lot of players, and you don't need to heavily invest into getting good armor with good armor spike rolls just for this cause alone. This will overall give you a 53 second cooldown while using arc bolts or around a minute plus if you're using anything else. I would recommend you use arc bolts as well simply because Foe Tracer's effect does not require a kill to trigger it but rather damaging powerful enemies instead. A strength at tier 7 will also follow the same route as Discipline, with Font of Vigor allowing us to reach tier 10 once our armor charges are active. At this stat, we will have a 46 second cooldown when using Tempest Strike, which is much faster compared to what our Discipline cooldown is. We do have Outreach and Distribution on hand to escalate the given stat more, but with its relatively low cooldown rate and Gambler's Dodge in hand, you don't need to action this stat anymore. Plus, also note, with how much orbs of power will be created, we can swap the font mods out for the kickstart mods instead, if you wish. Next, we have the additional mods and armor charges we can apply once the key parts are done. Charged up will expand your armor charges by 1, then having a harmonic siphon will allow us to create orbs of power while on the go. This will be combined into our x1 arc weapon surge mod for a constant 7% weapon damage buff, and then the time dilation mod will extend the duration of all time based mods to an extra 5 seconds. Please do make sure you only have one surge mod, as once Foe Tracer's effect kicks in, it will temporarily override the armor surge we have on. Now, lastly, the weapons being used, we have the Trinity Ghoul. One of the best arc exotic bows in game, the following is an ad clearing god weapon of its own tier, where not much can match it. Whether you use this in a build or not is down to you, as a Zod it can work either way, but with a well defined arc build, you can push the strength to become even more better than ever before. With Foe Tracer's effect active, and you're getting a times 4 surge buff, this weapon's arc chain effect could become even more powerful to use when applied in GMs and certain fragments. Although a stronger arc heavy would be more suited for this build, this build is flexible and can adapt to user's need. So if you want to use a Grand Overture instead with a times 4 surge, then by all means go ahead. Our oh, heavy, we have the Song of Ear Ute with Target Lock and Rewind Rounds. A simple yet powerful combo that works great against bosses to melee bosses and granting us free reign with building up damage fast and consistently. There are plenty of arc heavies to choose from, with popular weapons such as Hot Head Adept being the best pick here. 
However, heavy isn't that much required by the user as you can pick and choose what you like and still get the same general effect results in the end. If you like the Fallen Sunstar or Crown Tempest for the Arc ability regenerate, which can be off the chance at time, then this version using the Foe Tracers with Hunters is secretly similar to what you are after. With the new updated exotic, the following fills in two roles where one, you can get a big damage boost just by using your abilities, while the other will grant you an elemental pickup. With some theory crafting in mind, you can create a build that allows you to have a near same amount of ability regen that Crown of Tempers can provide, but slightly better. We have three ways of creating Iron Tracers via Spark of Discharge, Spark of Ions, and Foe Tracer, and all of these here, when combined into Trinity Gorm, allows players to single handedly create one after another Ion Tracers with ease. It is highly recommended you use the Artbot grenades because of their low cooldown rate and the ability to trigger Foe Tracers' effect, but this can be swapped out how you like. Basically, with the above active and allowing us to get Iron Tracers, we will also be creating orbs of power that will buff our armor charges and give us the highest regen available. With this, we can trigger a Foe Tracers x4 surge effect for our weapons and turn our current arc bow from OP to extremely god tier. This simple combination of mods and perks pretty much allow any arc weapon to become a machine in whatever content you like, including PvP if you wish. I chose Trinity Gore because of how good that ad clear effect is, which in mass and above content has proven to be pretty good. As ability regen will be at an all time high, we can use our bow exotic effect to take down even champion level threats with just the bow in hand, and this alone makes the build a wonder to use for any arc weapon you have in mind. Now, if you want even more IR traces, then using the Cold Heart can provide additional benefits as well. Or if you want to nuke a boss that has arc burn effect, then why not give Grand Overture or Thunderlord a dabble as well? Simply put, this build rocks super hard, and there's no wonder something like this hasn't been blown up just of yet. But what do you guys think of the build? So there we have it. I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content shared, then please leave a comment below. But at the same time, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and sub right here. I will leave a dim link for the build below. And if you want more stuff like this, then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.